Hello, my name is Colleen Erickson, and I am DECA from Mackes Lee, but I've married and lived for many years in Saika's First Nation. I am Lucilia Rugg Clan and the board chair of the First Nations Health Authority. I would like to acknowledge each of the territories that we serve in and thank the people who have endeared themselves to this land since time began for allowing us to conduct this business in their territory. This year marks the final year of the First Nations Health Authority's current five-year health plan. This plan provides the organization with goals, priorities, and measures, targets that guide our work towards our vision of healthy, self-determining, and vibrant BC First Nations children, families, and communities. Over the last six years, the FNHA has achieved significant progress in implementing important changes to First Nations healthcare in BC. We focused on our four goals, enhancing First Nations health governance, championing the BC First Nations perspective on health and wellness, advancing excellence in programs and services, and operating as an efficient and effective First Nations health organization. 2020 has been an unprecedented year of change, and it has reduced our ability to travel and visit community. But despite this, it is important that we widely receive input from our First Nations communities and community members on setting the FNHA's provincial priorities for the next five years, including delivery of programs and services and investments in critical health and wellness facilities facilities and capital projects. Renewing our five-year health plan will be through a multi-pronged engagement approach and will be built upon existing BC First Nations planning and priority setting documentation. This includes community and regional health and wellness plans, health and wellness capital priorities and findings from the recent FNHA and tripartite framework evaluations. The intent of our engagement sessions will be to validate emerging themes from these documents and to prioritize what the FNHA should focus on and invest in for the next five years. I strongly encourage you to participate. Hello, I'm Richard Jock. I'm the Interim uh, Chief Executive Officer of the First Nations Health Authority, and I'm pleased to be with you today. I uh, would like to emphasize uh, some of the key points that Colleen has made. One of the things that will be really important is that uh, our multi-year health plan is developed from the community up. This is a very important principle for us and it will be an important part of our dialogue. Starting this fall, we will engage uh, with First Nations communities. Uh, we will also engage with First Nations clients, health leaders, system partners, and also our regional partners uh, to provide input and priorities to our overall health plan. Once this um, uh, initial plan is gathered, there will be a second round of engagements uh, that will occur in the spring of, 2000, of 2021, I should say. Uh, an important addition uh, for this round of multi-year health plans will be the inclusion of community capital planning. And this is an important addition and it will be a, an important way for us to do this important aspect of planning, but also to have that important element of transparency and, um, and also long-term planning as part of these efforts. So I would uh, emphasize and make it really clear that the three avenues that we will have in mind for input into our plan include, firstly, uh, virtual focus groups, uh, through a series of 90-minute sessions held through October 2020. Online virtual platform will be our second option. Planning and priority setting information with corresponding questions will be available until November 2020 
through our FNHA website and other FNHA channels. And then thirdly, a paper-based system uh, with information packages that can be downloaded from our website and printed or mailed to participants for completion of written responses. For more information on this journey, please visit the FNHA website at www.fnha.ca forward slash five year plan.